Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. It is another beautiful fall morning here on the farm. We've got a bunch of different things that we need to do today. We're kind of wrapping up some of the things from our summer season. And one of the chores that we're going to be working on today is taking a lot of our chicken tractors, our Siskovich tractors, taking, kind of tucking them away for the winter and putting them up. First thing we've got to do, we're going to mow us an area over here that'll give us a spot to park those. But that's just one of the things we got going on. I don't know what else we're going to get into today, so... Hang out with us for a little bit and let's get some farm chores done. All right, got that cleaned up, looking a whole lot better. This is an area just along the side that we hardly ever graze the cattle on because so, we try to keep them away from the beehives, which we don't do much with. We have bees. We don't keep bees. We don't manage bees, but we have bees. So we got all this cleaned up, looking a whole lot better. We'll work on getting some of those chicken tractors broken down today, getting tarps, drinkers, and feeders and all that kind of stuff out of them and get those moved over here, and that should look pretty nice. All right, Newman's been working on getting feeders and drinkers out of these, and uh, we're going to start cutting the tarps off. And some of them we're going to throw away. Like this, this is a couple of years, we've got a couple of years service out of this, and it's it's just pretty bad. So, And I've got some brand new ones up in the barn. We'll just take these off and throw them away. And we're just going to roll them up on a trailer and take them over there to that spot that we uh, mowed just a few minutes ago. Set them up nice and neat. We're going to put all of our toys away, like good little boys and girls. Um, put all the feeders and the drinkers in the loft up in the feed barn that way we'll have everything there when we're ready to go next year so we'll get to cutting these tarps off and get these things moved up on the trailer out of the way
All right, that worked out pretty good. I had one of the uh, Salatin pins uh, that was sitting out in the field. I brought it up here just to park it. I may see if I can't sell that. I've also got a uh, the dolly. The dolly needs a little bit of welding work, but I've got a Salatin pin and a dolly. I'd, uh, I'd be interested in selling those. Somebody's close and you want to come get it, um, we can talk about it. Send me an email, chuck at SheratonParkFarms.com. We'll, we'll work something out on that. Um, but then my Syscovitz tractors, we got eight of them moved up here. I have 12 total. Um, so we got eight of them here. I got them lined up nice and neat, tarps off, feeders out, drinkers out. And so this is where they will stay during the off season. And then next year, whenever it comes chicken time, they'll be ready. We'll just pull them out, put a tarp on them, put a feeder in them, put a drinker in them, and boom, we're ready to go. We've left the sets of wheels with them. They're hard plastic wheels. They'll be fine out here if they get brittle and break. So be it. They're a couple bucks at uh, Harbor Freight. I'll go get some more. Now, there's eight of these here. I've got two more. There's two right there with the turkeys that the turkeys are using for shelter. And then I've also got two others, and I moved them out near the hay barn. Um, when those egg chickens that are in the brooder right now are ready, which is almost any time now, we'll take them out of the brooder, put them in those Siskovich style tractors, which look just like these, along with the tarps. We'll put those birds in the Siskovich tractors as just an intermediate step. So that'll give them, we always do that. Egg birds, we pull them out um, and put them in a Siskovich tractor for a couple of months by themselves until they get really close to egg laying size. That just seems to work out pretty good. Um, just as an intermediate, you know, instead of taking them out of the brooder and putting them right in the uh, egg mobile with all the big birds, it just, it just works out better. So we can stick a fork in this little project. Glad to get this done. Let's find something else to work on. All right, next task, we're gonna work on moving the uh, egg mobile. They've been in here for a while. They're really not venturing out very much onto the grass, but we're getting hot spots underneath where the actual egg mobile sits because of that poop through floor. So we got a couple sections of netting. We're just gonna move right over here. Um, so we're gonna throw that netting up. I've got a gate that goes in this netting. I think I got that from Starkline. I'll see if I can find a link and post that in the description down below. I'll show you what that is, but it's just a gate that you can put up so you don't have to crawl over the uh, crawl over the netting. So let's get to putting this stuff up.
Samuel. You can back up a hair. Now go forward a hair. There we go. See if there's another string on something. There should be something that's got like a second string on it. All right, super easy. We just set up a couple of pieces of netting that we had to untangle. Um, super easy move. Just backed it right up, and as you see, they, you know, they they'll all migrate over here. I'm not going to worry too much about trying to chase them up this way. Um, they'll, I mean, a lot of them know where the coop is. They'll go tell the rest of them, and they'll move on up and uh, and be over. So. The only thing we've got left to do is move the water. Um, we've had the hose laying out here on the ground for a while, so Newman's having to kind of pull it up out of the grass. Um, we're going to move the connection that it's attached to, to right there in front of where the tractor sits. And then we'll just bring the water over here and set it up. We've showed this before. If you're running your birds out on pasture um, and you have access to do this, this is the simplest way to water. Just get you an old tub. This is an old cow lick or sheep lick tub. And uh, get you one of these little giant float valves and get those attractors to fly probably get them on amazon i'll see if i can find a link to them put it put it down below and just hook your hose up as the chickens drink the water level goes down it opens the valve on that and it just refills and i mean it eliminates your need for a daily chicken water chores so super easy way to get them done up so we'll get that moved you can see where they were a couple of hot spots underneath where the coops were sitting where the coop was sitting once here once over there that's on us for not moving but you know we've had so much stuff going on not an excuse but we've just not moving that's just all i can say we've not moved them. but we're on nice fresh clean green grass now and uh, that should set them up pretty nice for a few days we'll move them again we're working on moving them up closer towards the house as we get down to the later part of the year and into the winter it's nice to have them close to the house so you don't have to travel halfway across the farm to get eggs it's just a just a nice little thing so we'll keep keep migrating that direction I know we've showed this before. The way this works, put a plastic valve down in there, quick connect with a mail in, just plugs right in like an air hose, runs it over here to our drinker, fills up, got a Job float valve on it. This thing gets full, about the uh, wet the float, comes top, closes the valve off, they drink it down, float drops, fills back up. Easy, portable way to water your animals, not have to pull a bunch of hose. The only thing we had to do here is we buried about a thousand feet of black plastic pipe in here. One of the best investments we've made on this farm. So easy water for you livestock. All right, we didn't film it because we were too many 
things to do with all of our hands. So we're putting in just a temporary line um, with these temporary posts. You can see them going right up the hill towards where Newman is, and then we're going to tie into the barbed wire fence that goes along the road. We'll pull the uh, temporary line down here. The end of that has a non-conductive handle on it, so it will not energize the barbed wire. But we'll bring that that uh, reel that Newman's carrying down with the wire. He's put hooking it into each one of those posts, and then it'll come back here, and we'll tie into the high tensile which is energized and that will energize this temporary line that we have. So we're gonna be giving the cows all of this over here. Drinker is right there. So they're gonna have easy access to water. They'll have access to the horse barn, which is up on the hill. We're giving them a big spot, real big spot. We probably will only be here for a couple of days. We won't stay long, getting fall. We don't wanna to be putting too much pressure on the grass right now. We probably still got a little bit of growth left, but days are getting shorter. Uh, we'll probably have a frost in the next two to three weeks, so um, we don't want to just totally decimate um, our grass crop right now. We want to nip it and then we'll move. So that'll get them here. After that, we'll give them a big section up here. Probably two more sections in the lower field down here, and then we're going to move across the road up there to where we had our pig paddocks back earlier in the year. A lot of sorghum sedan grass. Uh, a lot of other good fescue, orchard grass, a lot of stuff up there for them to munch on. So excited to get them on that because the grass up there right now is taller than they are. And that'll be a good spot. We'll show you all that when we get there. So we'll go up, ride around. We're going to check our other wire, make sure everything's good to go. And then we'll uh, call them down, see if we can get them to walk across the road. Y'all, I don't want to have to walk to get you. I'm lazy today. Come on. Woo, cow. Come on, come on, let's go, come on, come on, scoot, 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 let's go mom, scoot, Reuben, no, scoot, 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 come on, scoot, scoot, good girl, good girl. Let's go. Scoot, scoot. Reuben! Have you got your wire attached to something? Yeah. Walk up through here with it. Just steer nice and wide around. You're doing fine. Just keep walking. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, flip it in. All right. Ruben, come here. Ruben, here. Ruben, here. Reuben, here. Reuben, Reuben, here. How many did you get? That's 24 right there. All right, cows. Scoot, scoot. Reuben. No. All right. There they are. A little challenging, but we got them. All right, there they are. Got them moved across the road. 
little challenge and get everybody kind of pointed in the right direction but i think we've uh, i think we were able to get them over here without any problem no major i mean this is wasn't hard it took 10 minutes no big deal no big deal at all so got those chicken tractors put up egg chickens moved cattle moved it's hot for the first of october it's hot i think i'll go get a bottle of water like i always say please keep us in your prayers may god bless you and your families and we'll see you on the next video thanks